my inspirations and influences are mainly the people around me and the things I touch and I interact with but with regards to music my main inspirations comes from labels like Warp, Planet Mew, Reflex and all the old school techno and old school as itself. I started thanks to my uncle Christian at about the age of 12 years old. My friends used to go to these shitty clubs in Marsa Scala and I always chose to go uphill and go to his house first instead of going to these clubs and at that time he used to play a lot of old school hip hop and from there I got hooked straight away. About a year and or two years after he came home, he gave me a pair of turntables and he told me I learned to DJ by myself and so should you. And six months later I stopped playing the first time at a disorder event with Dave Tarida and David Carre. Well, I think it's difficult everywhere to be an artist, not just in Malta, but Malta it's even more difficult because of the size of the population and everything. But thanks to the internet nowadays, it's, e it's easier for us to share the sounds and what we do in our everyday life. You have to sacrifice something for sure to be an artist. I think to write music you have to consider music from Monday to Sunday, not just only for the weekend. So basic things like going out, for example, can be one of the sacrifices you have to take if you have a normal job, obviously, and music is not your primary job. Well, the music scene in Malta, I have a lot to say, but I will keep it short and sweet, hopefully. I used to think a lot about the scene in Malta, but hopefully, with the guys like you in the scene, we have a voice, like artists nowadays have a voice, and an independent voice, so to say. Usually most of the promotions here in Malta are all business-wise, and they are not meant to promote local artists. At the end of the day, they will keep booking their artists, and Maltese artists will not get the good spots, so to say, the foreign artists get. With regards to music, I will say that Malta has a huge amount to offer. I don't combine the two together, for example, parties and the artists, but the combination of the two together has to be the scene. For, for most of the people, the scene is only about the events that happen during the weekend. The scene, the actual music scene, for me, has to be more than that. And with that, I say that Malta has a really huge amount of artists to offer. We just need people like you, Trekic, to give them the exposure they need. I have a lot of favorite Maltese artists, but if it has to go down to one, it has to be Stimulus Timbre. Not because he's my friend and he lives nearby, but because I've seen him evolve from day one. And this day he has achieved quite a lot in his sound. My music has been published from 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the first EP I released was on a net label, and it was on Maltese net label called Pink Pew, and that release is still available today for download. And that was the first thing that started everything off. After that, the first la the first release on an official label was on Plus Record, Tokyo, and I will be having another release on that label very soon with remixes from Outlander and Garrett Wild. When I'm performing mostly I think about what I'm doing with the equipment, but if I'm playing with turntables, for example, I keep in mind the crowd in front of me and I don't usually plan when I'm playing with turntables, for example, and that's why I think what's happening at that time and try to interact with the people with the means of turntables or water. When I'm playing live then I think of what's, ha what's happening with the equipment and obviously thinking of what's coming next, so sort of to plan.
Well, I have a lot of things lined up for the future. I will wait for my incoming releases, mostly eagerly waiting for my release on Orlando Vorms label. Then I am having releases on Plus Records, Balkan UK with remixes from Mark Archer and maybe more that you will hear in the future. <laughs> For me, tracking scheme means quite a lot. We've been waiting quite a long time for something like this to happen, to give voice of the true people that deserve it. I think tracking scheme will have even a lot more to offer in the future. Right now, it's even at the start of its things. And by the looks of it, it looks like it's going to be a community that gets together a good amount of people that work for a good aim and mostly for the good of local music. Hopefully this will be the beginning of plenty events and everything to come from Trekkie Scheme.